Hey Jesus Christ! Because what of God says the chastisement of our peace, the chastisement for our peace was upon him. You know what does the word peace means? The word peace means shalom. Now what does the word shalom means? It means hell, it means well, and it means wholeness. It means fullness. The chastisement, the, the chastisement for our fullness, our fullness was upon Jesus Christ. What of God the chastisement for our for our fullness was upon Jesus Christ. Because if we know the many times Jesus when Jesus did a miracle, he said, be, become whole. Be whole. We become full. And when many times Jesus used his words to become whole. Because in him you are the fullness of God. In, in Jesus Christ you are the fullness of God. And we are coming in him. And it please the Father to bruise his son. And one more time he says, it please the Father. It's all fullness is dwell in him. It please the Father. And he is doing with our Father. And it, it please the, that, the same Father. And even all fullness is dwell in us. Now let me uh, let me go to some more deep scriptures. Uh, let, let's go to the book of Ephesians, chapter one, verse twenty-two and twenty-three. It says over here, and has put all this under his feet and gave him to be the head of all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him. It fills all in all. What of God says that God gave everything to the church. God, in fact, God put all his values, all powers under his feet. And when, when he says we have put all his under his feet and gave it all into the church, which is his body, which is his body, the fullness of him. It fills all in all. The word of God says the fullness of him. The body of Jesus Christ was full of God. The word of God says, today we are the body of Jesus Christ. He is the head and we are the body. The church is the body. Jesus says that we are complete in Him. We and Jesus have to work together to become that completion. Because Jesus said, it is, when He said it is finished, He said it is completely complete. He does everything complete. And your life to be fully complete. He said we have to be attached to the head. As we body have want to walk in the fullness, we have to get attached to the head. Jesus is the head and we are the part of the body. And the word of God is that the full fullness of God dwells in the body. In the church of God dwells the fullness of God. You know, God works most to his people, his church. God doesn't work to the organization or institutions. God works most to his church, to his people. The word church means his people. God works most with his people. Because the word of God is that we are full in him. The word of God says that his body, the fullness of him, that being the body of Jesus Christ, are full of him. And it is he that fills us all in all. He is the one who fills all in all, all in all. He is the one who fills us every time. It is God who fills us every time because we are full in him. The word of God says that the that God gave Jesus the Holy Spirit without measure. Because when God gives the Holy Spirit, it is not a measurable Holy Spirit. Why was it for somebody then for somebody? God gives the Holy Spirit to you without measure. The word of God says in the book of John that God gave the Spirit to Jesus without measure. Without measure. There's no measurable thing. And God gave to Jesus. You know, when God gave the Holy Spirit to Jesus, it was without measure. Fullness. God gave Jesus the Holy Spirit in full 